It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the NFC South. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. On a warm afternoon in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina, EA Sports brings you to Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Carolina Panthers. Joined by Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And CD, the Panthers come into 2023 with a lot of new faces, most notably, of course, at head coach and at quarterback. But what do you think it would take for them to emerge on top in the NFC South? Better efficiency on offense, partner. I think they continue to beef up the offensive line, add to the playmakers on the perimeter, and run the football with some authority. Pair that with the defense. It's been pretty good for the last few seasons. This team has a chance to take charge in a wide-open NFC South. And then for the visiting Saints, you know, most people might not realize this. You talk about defenses against the pass last year. The Eagles Super Bowl team, they were number one. But coming in at number two, these New Orleans Saints. Remember, they're led by a defensive-minded head coach, and he plans really well on that side of the ball. Want to see if they can continue that and find some firepower moving the ball on offense. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And we'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look. And we will take a short break. One of the Panthers' big off-season acquisitions. Here's Miles Sanders. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. Well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Second down and six now. Young now. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by right, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Young will set to throw. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third and that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Running right, here's Sanders. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It was Cameron Jordan who came in and got him. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. On second down, Young. And connecting here with DJ Sharp. Now this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 44-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Young to throw it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 30. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. They'll give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. And if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. On first and 10, it's Sanders to the 27-yard line. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Now Young. Looking for Sanders, and it's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And the Saints force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters. And in this case, it paid off well. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's going to take some time to adjust to seeing Carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver. It's black and gold. 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Open man left side. Shaheed has it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first and 10, here's Carr. He'll find Shahid out to the right. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. Well, it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Tried to create a little bit of that hocus pocus with some magic, but the defense, not impressed at all. They don't lose contain on this very dangerous runner, and they get a big stop. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Carr going to throw. He sets to fire deep. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. 66 yards. And the Saints use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting. Great film watching and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You have a lot to handle in this one. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now a 7-0 game. 
The drive summary that time, five plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards and it's second and two. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'll go again with Sanders. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Well, when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Here's third and three. Now here's Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll run with Sanders up the middle, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Young. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 41-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. Looking to throw, Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. A 
up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first and ten, Young. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Paulson and Debo. And the Saints are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Carr. Off to Thomas on the left side. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early. And that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive. And now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Carr completes it, and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Second and a couple. Car to throw again. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 35. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Now a man picked up after two years in Detroit. It's Jamal Williams. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first down, Carr. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Here's Carr. Throwing out right here, caught by Alave. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. In motion right, Alave. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. 
Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Carr. This is caught. Touchdown, Saints. Foster Moreau from six yards away. And the Saints have taken a two-touchdown lead now. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. You got to like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two-score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. I got to get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. It's a little bit of a turnover. You went right back, though, and got that omelet and crushed it. got to do what you got to do. Yeah. got to do what you got to do. A little worried do. about your hands, though. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit, like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. On play action, Young. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The offense on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and five. Young now. This ball nearly intercepted. A once in a season chance for the big fella, but he couldn't corral it. Fourth down straight ahead. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. Fielded at the 33. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Derek Carr and the Saints set to go back on offense. Last drive, surgeon-like, dare I say, seven for seven. That'll help your QB rating. <laughs> it will indeed, won't it? Can you figure out QB rating? Can you do I, it? Can no, you do the formula? No, I just know the higher the number, the better. Yeah, that's what I've been told, <laughs> that's what too. I know. I know that in the NFL, 158.3 is the number they're all trying to get to. I think he was that on that last drive. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Car now on first down. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 29-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. First 
Throwing on first down is Carr. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. On second down, Williams trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Oh, that's a monster play there by the defense, getting a third down stop so far behind the line of scrimmage. That should take away the option to go for it. This quarterback, an absolute weapon who can throw it or run it for a first down. But a loss of more than 10 yards, hard to see the offense coming back out on this fourth down attempt. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. It's a second down run with Sanders. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Last play, they got stuck at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Off the play fake, Young. And Sanders has got it complete. And he goes out right around the 39. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And that will bring up second down. Brings up second and seven. Throwing, Young. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know, and most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. That throw by Young incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Here is Young. I had a man open, but he missed. 
passed him and it's incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And it's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking, usually the best way to maintain control. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Card out of throw. That is incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the football game, and you hate to give away possessions. But instead of forcing something downfield on third down, that was a wise move to just get it to the sideline. Here comes the Saints punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Taking a couple yards shy of midfield. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. It's Young on first down. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And good running, gonna get this down close to a first at the Saints 37. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. And this offense on third down today, they've been very good, five for seven thus far. This time they face a third and two. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Young. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll set up a throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. 
On third down, they turn to Sanders. Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The defense was dialed into the pass. They overlooked the draw play. And how often do we talk about the oldies are still goodies? Because that draw play comes straight from Coach Paul Brown's playbook, going all the way back to the original Cleveland Browns. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Young will set to throw. And that's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now a second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Young. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. To throw, Young. Shark from 13 yards out, and the Panthers are back within a score. Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game, but they come back and make them later on. They miss tackles, right? They miss making plays, but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback. And when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier, they feel great about that guy. And likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. After the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. On the return, here's Rashid Shaheed. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And the Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And just inside of a minute left, Charles, they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this. But you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to... Touchdown, New Orleans! Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Saints will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, that is certainly a deflator right there defensively. Their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. Well, that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is supposed to help their offense not give up another touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21-7. to Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. 
Now the Panthers and Miles Sanders headed out for another drive. Now the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes you might want to swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. Just need a yard here, second and one. Young to throw it. A quick throw there is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. On third and one, here's Young. He's got his target. That's complete. The well, Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. It's Young off play action. And that's going to be incomplete. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, so many times defensive backs get caught playing the man rather than the football, but not in this case. That's an excellent play. Did exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the football and help break up the pass. And yep, as a result, knocks it down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And Young's throw there incomplete. And based on my math, They've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Holding offense. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. For the third quarter, the Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. 
And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Saints going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. From the 35, here's second down and three. Now a give up the middle to Williams. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. On first and 10, here's Carr. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And that'll bring up second down. Now Carr tries the left side and finds Alave. Five yards, now it's third and five. Here's Carr to throw. Too strong. They get there and take him down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. To me, the defense was a little, a little gas near the end of the first half, but they've come out of the locker room with a little extra spring in their step. Wonder what they did at halftime to get them so motivated. I don't know, but that sack looked good. Now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 30. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be the Panthers ball first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Here's Young from the shotgun. That is taken in by Hurst. And he'll be taken down before he gets in the enemy territory. Seven catches for him now in this last one. The first down. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter. And the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. Now Sanders. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And they'll come up second and seven. Another run here with Sanders. 
Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Young to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 28. The drive stays intact with a pick of the 13. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't want the deep ball to beat them on that play, did they? No, well, the drag. That guy should be your safety valve we saw right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. First down, Young. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Here's Sanders. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Play fake. Now Young. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. This from 44 yards away. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. to the field goal on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Saints again ready to go on offense. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. And now the rookie's free. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. To throw his car. He'll find Moreau here. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's second and three. Here's Carr. Salave, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Throwing now is Carr. And that will be incomplete. They 
certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. Young on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. He was looking for Adam Thielen there, and that'll make it third down. They go play action, Young. Oh, that is incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively, and you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at the 31 yard line from the gun he'll set up the throw throwing over the middle and it's incomplete thomas the intended target that'll bring up second down to throw its car They were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Throwing his car on third down. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Kamu Kruje Hill getting in there and taking him down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. He'll get this to about the 38. From the 38 now, here's second and six. Now here's Young. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Young on third down. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he is going to have the Panthers. 
Another's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a much needed accomplishment there on third down. They've been forced to punt far too many times already. They needed something to go their way, and they're able to get a new set of downs. A first down throw for Young. On the slant, this is Chark. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and two. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss, not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect of the big guys up front. And yeah, good work there in open space. He's got this all the way down now to the 32. 89 yards on the ground now for Sanders. He's got a first down. Nice run from Sanders who accomplished a couple of long-awaited firsts last season in Philadelphia. Finally broke 1,000 yards and had 11 touchdowns to help reach his first Pro Bowl. Another run with Sanders. A strong running. <laughs> And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll try to throw down. Young, he'll find Thielen work in the middle. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Here is Young. Uh, he's got it, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They'll try and run for it with Sanders, and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run for Miles Sanders, and the Panthers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations, but there's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet? They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. But he will not get in here. He stopped up short of the goal line, and this will remain a five-point game. To the touchdown. Here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here 
They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football, high percentage throws, and find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Play action, now it's Carr. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They run it again with Williams. There's a nice move. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Carr. His throw incomplete. That was a good play, an incompletion that feels like a disappointment. The ball was tipped in the air, a chance for an interception, and you can just feel the home crowd coming together, thinking, this is the big play we've been looking for. And when it falls to the ground, a little bit of disappointment, even though it was a good play. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now Carr. Going right back to Michael Thomas. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Try to get that one to Chris Olave, but it'll be second and goal. In motion right, Alave. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. But I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. 
Make it four touchdown passes now for Derek Carr. And the Saints are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Point after, right down the middle. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. First and 10, Young. And this one into the hands of DJ Shark. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. On the draw, here's Sanders. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Even though he recovered his own fumble, you know how much he hates to put the ball on the ground. He's going to be frustrated with himself. And what do you think the time frame was from the time the ball escaped his grasp to him getting it back? It didn't take that long, right? Right. To him, it probably felt like hours because he's agonizing, like, I've got to get this football back. Able to get it done. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Now we're going to get another look at this one. Dennis Allen not happy, so he has thrown the challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one, as that now will wind up an incomplete pass. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. A gutsy decision there at this stage in the second half in their own territory and a decision that they might regret. Can't wait for the postmortem. You know, this postgame press conference, because the questions are going to come fast and furious about this decision, no matter how the, how the game turns out, right? What were you thinking there? Why did you have a certain play call? Did, were you confident in your defense? Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> it's yeah. going to keep coming up. Yeah, no matter the scoreboard, just tough to justify. Car now on first down. Complete to Alave on the out route. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. From the gun, it's Carr. And Thomas has it. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And third and eight now. Card out of throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete.
Out now is the field goal unit for New Orleans. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. So an important one there as they widen their lead in this fourth quarter. All right, partner, help me out with the math here. Make sure I am on point, because the way I see it, the other guys still need two touchdowns, but in addition, a two-point conversion. So this is all about them playing perfect football from here on out. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, had he opted for the touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go-around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Out of the gun, it's Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now Young. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. To the air once more, Young. Over the middle, hold in by Sharp. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. That throw by Young incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. They're going to hurry back to the line now. From the red zone now, Young. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. Jonathan Mingo, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers get a bit closer. So this is now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. 
that's good. So that will get them back within one score. So that drive in total eight plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. He's to midfield. Still going past the 30. Touchdown, New Orleans. Call that a 96-yard house call on the kick return. And the Saints have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent. The return excellent. The result, six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. This offense returns to the field, and the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we get a look at him. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. And now they're in the hurry up. To throw on second down is Young. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. A big play in this football game. Third down and one. On third and one, here's Young. And that's incomplete. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. Here we go. This is fourth down. Going for it with Sanders. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for the strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against his 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him. Otherwise, you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. 
Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Let's go, Sam. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. On the counter, here's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Throwing now is Carr. And he will have a Saints first down. It has been a struggle, but it's looking like that'll be the one to seal a victory for him. Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Set the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Awesome. They threw it. They just threw the flag. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. The Saints in victory formation now as they'll take the knee. at a previous stop telling me you get a win on the road doesn't matter the opponent get out of there like you stole something and they, <laughs> they did in this one and the kick is good so you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet but until then this game's over so this one a victory here for new orleans and we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins who loses this game no exception air free football no turnovers at all and they win it so this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate and you know what i'm talking about head coach always stands up in front of the team and says guys if we do this this and this we'll win and usually they say if we win the turnover battle we'll win well here's the proof right there win the turnover battle Go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.